Hello and welcome to Securing Applications and Data, Section 2. In this section, we're going to take a look at data classification, encryption, data loss prevention, application vulnerability assessment and patching, and finally backups. Let's talk about data classification. In this video, we're going to take a look at improving your security posture with data classifications and we're also going to take a look at the different types of data classifications. So why should we classify data? We can improve our security posture by classifying data because data is an asset and we classify data based on the value of its sensitivity. This is a very important first step to creating a secure environment and to base policies off these classifications. So let's take a look at a few different classification schemes. There's the government slash military scheme, and then we also have the private sector scheme. In the government or military scheme, the highest risk, which affects national security, is known as top secret. This is information that is very, very risky to, you don't want this data to get out into the public. The next step down from that is called secret, and this poses a high risk to national security. And a step below that, we have confidential data. This is also a sensitive risk to national security, but not quite as much as secret or top secret. And finally, we have unclassified, which is the lowest risk public information. This is information you can usually obtain through a Freedom of Information Act in the United States. Let's take a look at the private sector classification. So we have here a very similar scheme at our highest sensitivity to an organization is confidential. And this is going to be your proprietary information. So this will be, you know, what makes your company the best at what it does. It's so-called secret sauce, let's say, your proprietary information, your patents, things like that. Next down from that, we have the private classification. This is internal use only data that is limited to only employees. So this is internal data, not necessarily confidential, but it could still be damaging to a company's reputation if it were to get into the hands of the public. A step down from that is what we have called sensitive. And this is classified data, which also has a damaging risk to the company. Now, you might have heard people say things before like need to know basis. This would be that kind of data, the, the need to know data, that certain employees don't need to know certain things, certain data. That would be classified as sensitive. So let's say, for an example, if you had a list of employees that were going to be laid off, that would be classified as sensitive. Not all employees need to know that, only some employees do. Okay, and finally at our lowest risk is public information. This is information you'll probably have on your company's website or brochures, advertising, anything like that nature, anything that is uh, not sensitive or risky at all. So why do we want to classify our data? Well, as we stated earlier, data is an asset. It's very important and uh, it helps improve our security posture if we classify data because if we go into a situation thinking we are going to be breached, if we know what to protect, then we can beef up the security on those items on that data more than normal. So it lets defenders know what to protect. And we can protect that data using different things like encryption, DLP, which is data loss prevention, and backups, which we will learn in this course about all those things. Now we also classify to help develop policy for data handling and like we said earlier there are certain classes of information that not every employee needs to know so this would help you in developing that policy to handle that data. And also if we classify our data it helps us implement an incident procedure. So let's say a breach does occur then if we know what information was breached and got out, that can help us handle that situation, that incident, by knowing how sensitive the data is. And, you know, if we have a backup for that data, hopefully we do. Or hopefully, if our data is encrypted and it was breached and they don't have the keys, then we might be in a better situation then. 
So classify is a very important first step to any security program and it helps you develop policies. It also helps you figure out what to defend, which is what we're here for, and uh, where to beef up your security.